Hey guys, welcome to another amazing movie premiere. Now today I'm like super excited because this movie is starring my one and only true husband, <laughs> Ramzi Noah. Now the movie is called 76 and it's phenomenal because it's been produced and directed three years ago and it's just premiering. So obviously you know the anticipation and the excitement is unreal. Now today, um, hopefully we'll get to see Ramzi Noah and um, Daniel K. Daniel and Rita Dominic here to grace us with their presence. Now if you want to know a little bit about the movie, it's about an iconic figure in Nigeria called General Murtala Mohammed and how unfortunately Unfortunately, he was assassinated. Guys, you can't go anywhere. Stay tuned. I cannot remember vividly what happened that night. Was Auntie Mary here that night? Yes. For how long? She was here all night. And your husband? I told you I was down. I'm trying was to... your husband here that night? Yes. Yes what? No. Yes, he was here. No, he wasn't here. I can't continue to play this no, game with I you. Told you. Was, I was your husband here that I night? No. <laughs> no. 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 Guys, now with me is the CEO of Film House, and I'm going to get him to introduce himself. My name is Ken Mbaru. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try that. Ken Mbaru. Yes, got it. So I have to ask you, um, what's brought you here today? 76. Yeah. We're right behind him. You know, yeah. And um, yeah, I think it's, you know, 76 is one of those uh, films that uh, year on year, Nollywood films get better and better. You know, so 76 is one of them. So it's one of those statement films that, um, that we want to support. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of people have been asking, like, but it was produced, directed, you know, edited ages ago. Why is it just premiering now? And uh, I don't know, are you one of those people that wondered that? Or did you think that, yeah, it was going to happen? No, no, no. A lot of times films take a long time to make, you know, um, you know, James Cameron took how many years to make Titanic, you know, yeah, you know, and uh, Birth of a Nation took eight years, you know, so this film seven years, you know, once you can get it right, that's the most important thing, you know, um, so yeah, we were, we knew it was coming when they were cooking it, you know, and, um, and uh, you know, we're glad it's, it's out now. Right, guys, now here, still, oh, the excitement is just amazing. Now, I am with Mr. Adonija. Now, he's an executive producer and an actor. Wow, wow, and wow. Yeah, yeah, I acted in the movie. I know. And it was a beautiful experience. Okay, so is, is this your first time acting in a movie, or have you dabbled a little bit? Yeah, a little bit, yes. But this is my first time, you know, doing something this major, something yeah. this big, yes. I think that's amazing. So, for your first major movie, 76, how was it? Because obviously, it's centered around, like, the background scenes of Murtala Mohammed's. Um, assassination how, how did that make you feel yeah it's cool especially the angle we we told the story from right we know we told the story from the point of view of the wives of the officers mm -hmm. right you know when their husbands eventually pay the ultimate price yeah. they are the ones left behind mm -hmm. to you know to suffer the the outcome the consequences of that and, yeah. and all that and you know back home in Nigeria uh, people don't really care. People don't really remember that uh, you know people people you know bear the brunt of the services of these guys, right? So we're trying to shed light on on you know the the role that these people actually play. Yeah. Ten thousand innocent public officials have been dismissed because they have no voice. We're soldiers. It's our duty to make sacrifices. Right, guys, now with me is a very important person over here, Mr. Tonya. Yes, of course. How are you today? Oh, yes. well, no, I'm fine. I'm very well. Very good. Thank really? you very much. No, I have to I have to ask, though, 76, this movie, I think for me, it's phenomenal and it's brilliant because it's like the background story of the assassination of Murtala Mohammed. How did you feel being part of this movie? I felt fantastic. Um, first of all, we tell a story that is based on real events, so obviously that's very important. Um, but, you know, we want to attract Nigerian film. Mm. Uh, to the rest of the world and I think this movie does that it checks uh, a couple of boxes uh, but more importantly uh, it entertains um, so it's a serious subject and boom we're making sense um, but most people don't realize it's not about war it's not about the army this movie is about love and it's the most basic uh, instinct of, of humans and I'm glad we were able to 
uh, in a very, very subtle way articulated here in this movie. Guys, I'm still super excited and this stunning beauty and epitome of awesomeness over here. Can you introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi guys, uh, my name is Memory Savanu. I'm an actress in the film 76. I play the character Eunice. Eunice is married to a man who is in the military. He's a soldier. He's a major. Probably the one reason why Eunice married him. She likes power. She wants authority. She's a very confident woman who who, who understands who she is and she does not apologize about it. Very selfish and arrogant as well. But later on in the film, we see a different kind of Eunice. We see a woman yeah. uh, with a heart who's kind and caring. Yeah. yeah. How can you say George is for the girl when everybody's enjoying it? I don't know any member of your family and I am already pregnant for you. There's no need for you to be scared. You know how much I love you. We continue to suffer in silence out of sheer loyalty to this nation. And this is your best way to handle this. This guy is a switch. We shouldn't take any chances. What am I to you? I no respect for you, my family. I am yet to see the family of yours that deserves the respect. You three. What's the journey been like from like day one till now? Wow, to be honest, the first time I, res I got the script and then I was told I was going to play Eunice, first of all, I just couldn't believe it because she's a totally different character, obviously, yeah. to what I am in real life. But then I was excited at the same time, but I knew I had a job in hand to make sure that I make sure the character comes to life. So it was a whole lot of work. Like I said, um, I had a coach, I had an acting coach, and then I went to a dance studio and I was doing research on the 1960s dance moves, the da you know, the way they dress and, you know, the way they talk, the way they walk, you know, a lot of work. And a lot of work also with my director, Izu Ajuku, amazing, amazing. And I really appreciate the fact that he gave me this part to play Eunice because as an upcoming actress, you don't get that opportunity to play such a role in such a big movie, you know, so I really appreciate from, for that. And we did a lot of work. Um, he would call me and tell me like, what do you think about Eunice? You have a creative mind. I want you to think about who she is. Come back to me. I'll guide you. And then I'll go back to him. I'll say, this is Eunice. You say, no, that's not Eunice. And then I'll go back again. I say, this is Eunice. You've got it right. Yeah. So by the time, yeah. So by the time we were on set, honestly, I knew who Eunice was and it was just exciting to play the role. Yeah. A popular head of state has just been assassinated. Seal up all the bloody exes. It looks to me like you still don't know why you're here, Captain. 10,000 innocent public officials have been dismissed without benefit. I am a soldier, not a politician. Come on, baby, leave me alone! Sister, I want okay, to see okay. my husband! I'm a soldier's widow. I know the pain and anguish I went through when my husband died in the past.